still there. The hamster. Oh it's still there. <gasps> Holy f Oh my god, guys. Like someone literally left hamster in the woods. Hi, um, I was just calling because a hamster left in the um cage, like by the woods. Something definitely tried to get into this freaking cage. We're also gonna go ahead and get this banana I But you ready to go into your new cage, buddy? But this is the finished product. Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I am finally setting up the new hamster cage for the hamster that I literally rescued from the woods. If you did not see that video, you should go check it out. Like six months ago, I was gonna get a hamster and all of them on Craigslist that I was going to adopt, they all kind of fell through and then we had a mouse in our apartment and I had a ton of asthma issues and allergy issues and they are part of rodent families like hamsters are. So I just stopped trying to get a hamster because I figured that I would probably be allergic and it really sucks having asthma and like being really allergic to your pet, which I still don't know 100% that I'm not. But today I'm gonna go ahead and set up the hamster cage for the hamster that I rescued. If you didn't check out that video, make sure you go check it out. I'll link it somewhere up here. Still to this day, it's definitely the craziest rescue. But before we set up the hamster cage, let me go ahead and give you guys an update on the hamster. Right now he is on his wheel, he's just, chilling um he definitely wants to get out of his cage i haven't held him yet just because i'm trying to build up the trust with him and being in this little cage i mean you're you, being a hamster you must be really scared like with a person just coming up to you and like feeding you and just putting their hand in your cage and stuff so i kind of have been waiting to really get him her used to me until they're in a proper cage because this just has to be like really scary but as you can see he's super cute super fluffy and he does look really healthy, his feet, everything. His wheel is really dirty. It was dirty when I got him as well, but it has been a few days just because I couldn't get a bin cage that was big enough. And as you can see, his toilet paper bedding, he is put everywhere. He stuffed his little tubes filled with like his bedding and stuff. And he has been drinking his water. As you can see, I do need to actually change his water out, but that'll be for his new cage. Like he's just so adorable and I really want to hold him, but he's still a little bit skittish and I really just don't want to stress him out anymore but he's definitely getting more used to me. Yeah, as far as the hamster goes, the hamster has been doing perfectly fine. Comes out pretty much every time I come in the room, even if it's in the middle of the day. I think he just really wants to get out of the cage and I'm pretty sure that based on this behavior, he probably was taken out of his cage a lot with his previous owner. I do intend to tame him like properly, like so I can hold him and stuff and also so I can give him like free room in the fish room once I make like an actual like playpen where he can't escape out of it just to give him all that exercise that he needs. But that is in the future. Right now, I just need to set up his new cage because I know he's dying to get out of the disgusting, tiny PetSmart cage. These people left him in, unfortunately. I'm sorry, buddy. But yeah, this cage is just completely getting thrown out. I'm not keeping it. I have no reason to keep it. But unfortunately, the cage that I'm gonna be putting together today is not his permanent cage. It is big enough, but it's like just over the minimum. And that just, that that's not what I wanna give him. I'm going to give him the biggest bin cage that I can find. Unfortunately, I don't have a ton of room like on this wall, so the cage can't really be like too long. It can be wide, but it can't be like too long. So unfortunately, I have to stick with a bin cage. I can't really use, I don't think I could really use like the Ikea Detoff, I think it's called. And I could build my own cage, but I think a bin cage is like pretty suitable, especially if it's gonna be as giant as the one I'm going to be getting. They just don't sell it in stores, or at least they've been out of stock for all the ones I've checked. Don't worry, little guy, you are going to get a giant home very, very soon where you can run around and make all the little tunnels that you want and forage and everything. You're gonna get all the enrichment and everything that you need. I just still can't believe that someone will leave him like that. It just makes me feel so bad, but I'm glad that I found him at least because now I get to give him a giant cage with all the proper stuff. It's gonna be great. So go ahead, future me editing, and let's roll all the clips of everything that I got for this hamster because I didn't get everything because unfortunately they don't sell everything in stores that I really wanna get for him. And because this cage isn't his final cage, it's not big enough to put everything that I wanna put, but I got the essentials and some extra stuff as well that I know he's gonna love. So let me go ahead and roll the footage of me shopping for my hamster. All right, let's go get this rescue hamster some stuff that it needs. So this is the cage that I rescued it in. They paid $60 for this right here. $60 for this cage, instead of just getting the proper stuff. As you're about to see, I'm gonna make a bin cage for probably $50 or less. Definitely better than that cage, obviously. And it's like the same price, but why wouldn't you get something better? That's right, because people don't do their research. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to get is bedding. Now, remember that 
fine bedding is not good. Scented beddings are not good. Paper bedding is the best route. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to get this Carefresh one, if I want to get this KT Clean and Cozy one. Just trying to figure out what color I kind of want and what brand. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this one right here. This is just a paper bedding. Oh, it's falling out of my hand. But this one's just $10. It's 30 liters. Like I said, I might have to get another bag in the future but just to start setting up the cage i want to get one just to see if i like it so now we're looking at like hides and toys and stuff we're trying to decide if we want to get two hides or just one to start there's this one and there's also this wooden run wooden one whoop. there's also this wooden one right here that like just kind of bends into like a little bridge i feel like I, he would really like this because then he can climb over it so i don't know i'm thinking this one so we're gonna go ahead and get this one so moving on to the toys i actually looked these up and these are safe for hamsters i didn't know that but they are so i'm gonna go ahead and get a pack of these pine cones so for choose oh we're also gonna get two of these little bales of hay because this timothy hay it is safe for hamsters oh we're gonna get three of them okay timothy hay is safe for hamsters as well as alfalfa hay it does give them some nutrients but you know it's they may like it they may not but i figure we'll give it a try so we got that stuff we're also gonna go ahead and get this banana i tried looking it up i think it's safe i mean it's just like a little bit of wood here and then this like material so i think it's fine for the hamster but i'm going to double check comment down below if you have this for your hamster and if it's good look at this cute little cone so he's so cute for him i know i do really like it but i feel like the hole is just so small he's small i mean it's kind of the size of his body i guess yeah i'm looking at the wheels now but there aren't really any that are that great like this one's fine but i don't know that i like the color of it and all the other ones are just too big or too small so i think i'm gonna wait a second on the wheel maybe find it at another store. Also, while we're here, we're gonna get some food for our cats because, you know, they need food too. Some irons. What is this one? It's the healthy adult. And then yep. this one is Rachel Ray. They love these Rachel Ray, like, uh, entree things. It's kind of cute because it reminds me of, like, human food. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, they really love these. They're expensive, but they love them, so gotta get it. All right, first stop is done. We got stuff for the cats and for our new hamster. All right, so I am now in Walmart looking for the bin for the bin cage. And... There's only two options, unfortunately. So I'm deciding between these two. So the ones that they have that are big enough are this one right here, which is like $12, super cheap. And it's actually 570 square inches. So more than enough space and it is tall enough. Or this one right up here, which is about the same price. And this one though is only 460 square inches. So I'm trying to decide which one to get. Because of this lid, I do think that it is more sturdy. Like this bin is more sturdy and it is a little bit clearer as well as like the color of it just kind of looks better and with this one i feel like it just doesn't snap on like as tight like you can easily lift this up and I just for safety reasons i don't know i just don't really like that oh, real quick because obviously they need holes to breathe i'm gonna go check out and see if they have any of the metal caging that i need to make the lid all right so not really an angle that i film at but i had to bring this into my bedroom so i have enough room to actually set it all up so let me go ahead and pick up the that i do that step with some zip ties and mesh which i will complete tomorrow for this project and again this cage is by all means temporary it is not the finished product it is just bigger better cleaner 
more proper than what the hamster is currently in. I will be setting up another cage very soon, as soon as I can get the bigger cage that I want to get that's a little bit more permanent. The next day. I didn't really feel like filming myself, but I started making the lid the next day. I had to like score it a bunch of times with this knife, as you can see. And then I was finally able to get through and actually cut to make the lid, but it kind of was a little flimsy. And then eventually I got to the end part of it. And then I just kind of popped out the top. And then I brought it to the living room and my cat monkey decided that he wanted to be a part of this build. But it's not really safe for him. So I had to take him out in a second. But I had this trouble with this wire that was wrapped around. I couldn't find the end of it. Finally I did obviously. And then he started playing with it so I was like yeah you gotta go. But rolled out the mesh for the lid. Started using these wire cutters and it was pretty hard at first and then I figured out a routine that worked and then I just fit it to the lid, kind of got the corners all situated because it's not like a rounded lid or anything so had to like figure out the geometry of it. Next I cut little holes in the sides to put the zip ties through, put the mesh through the zip ties, and I was done. I cannot believe how good this hamster cage looks so here we go. Here is the full look with the lid that I finally finished. I even got the water bottle in there, so everything is ready to go and we get to get we get to put the hamster in it right now. Well, maybe when the hamster wakes up. I don't wanna like wake it up to put it in its new cage. But we get to put the hamster in its brand new DIY bin cage today, and I am so excited. But this is the finished product. Obviously, I do have to get sand for the little sand bath here today, but I figured I would just get the hamster in here as soon as possible because Having all this clean space is a lot better than all of this. Cause like, honestly, wh what is going on here? Also to attach the water bottle, cause I didn't film it. I basically made a hole right here and I caught all the plastic pieces. So there's none inside. And I basically just tied a ribbon through these top two holes, which are kind of hidden on purpose. But I also attached this. I had this like extra from a shelf I built and it just kind of hides the knot. Just kind of like looks a little bit better than having the knot of the ribbon out but it holds up the water bottle very well i do actually have to refill his water bottle top right here is very snug like this is not going anywhere because originally i was going to add even more zip ties but after i put them on they are this is like very very sturdy i'm just super excited to get him into his new cage so once he wakes up maybe with me being in here he'll wake up but once he wakes up we'll go ahead and bring this and his old cage into my bathtub and very delicately transfer him into here because this is going to be luxury compared to what he's in well you guys he is now awake so i think it's time to put him in his new cage because he was just running around a second ago and then he went back in his little corner over there but you ready to go into your new cage buddy Guys, he's already testing out his new wheel. I cannot tell you how much of a, a relief it is to have him in his new home. I feel so much better with him being in here because it's just like, that cage is so dirty. It's so like, let, let's take a quick look inside and just see like what else is in there. Cause I did see some like chew toys that are like buried. As you can see, that wheel is just absolutely disgusting. There's like dirt everywhere. And I know part of that is probably from how humid it was the day he was left outside and stuff probably got like moist and then he probably like smeared it everywhere. But there's just a lot of stuff in here and I just don't know what to do. I also did see this. I guess someone had bought him like that fry thing from like PetSmart, but I don't think he really enjoyed it that much. I see like a couple things here and there. I think there's like something, some round thing back here. What is this? Oh, this is the burger. So they bought him the burger as well, but I don't think he really liked that stuff. He seems to really like his new wheel and his banana back there. So, I mean, at least I picked out stuff he likes. And I don't want to disturb him, but he just seems so like happy. Like he's just running on his wheel, his brand new wheel in his brand new cage and doesn't even care like that I'm right here. Little bridge that I made him to go into a sand bath. I have to get him sand today because he needs to have access to a sand bath because he didn't this entire time. And I just feel really bad that he didn't have that. And he definitely just likes going in this container because he's already been in it like three times. Now, I mean, obviously he's gonna go everywhere because he needs to check it all out, make sure it's safe for him and everything, but he's definitely seeming to enjoy it. And he already tested out his new wheel a bunch of times. So 
I'm just really happy that I have him. I just need to pick an official name for him. All right, well, this has probably been one of my favorite videos I've ever filmed because I love him so much already. I'm just really glad that he trusted me enough to put him in that bowl and just move him so gently into his new home. It did take a couple of minutes to gain his trust, but once I figured out what he needed and how he wanted to be moved, then it was perfect. But I'm just super excited for this new hamster. Like I said, I will be setting up a larger cage and I will also be setting up some sort of playpen for him in here so that for a few hours at night, he can just go ahead and roam in his little playpen and maybe I'll like change it up maybe i'll even do like a video a month on like a new playpen of like different stuff i also have a lot of hamster video ideas but if there's some that you guys want to see make sure you comment them down below because i definitely have the best hamster over here and he's gonna have a lot of fun other than that thank you everyone for watching make sure to comment down some more names for this hamster because i cannot decide on a name definitely want it to be something like adventure like or like woods like because that's where i found him i feel like he just like fits and i have a couple names in mind but i just want to see if anyone has any other names out there and any other hamster video ideas for me to do what you guys want to see and other than that i will see you guys in a few days with a brand new video and hopefully a hamster video very very soon because this guy is just too cute and he's too sweet so i gotta film more videos with him and other than that i will see you guys in a few days with a brand new video thank you for watching